As I read through the Psalms today, chapter 108 through 112, the common thread for me was David's reliance on the Lord in times of trouble, especially when the trouble was people. It's a testimony of this once great king of Israel that God will always show up for his people when relationships fail. That regardless of these people that David identifies as enemies, false accusers, deceitful and wicked, those who spoke evil against him, the Lord always, he always responds when we acknowledge his infinite ability and cry out for his help. First in Psalm 108, David says, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save me with your right hand and hear me. David praises the Lord as he waits for the Lord's deliverance and salvation. In chapter 109, David is surrounded with words of hatred, people that responded to his love with accusations. And he says this of his accusers, Thus they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for love. Help me, O Lord my God, David says. O save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. In Psalm 111, David says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. Then in 112, Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. Under the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. What is David saying in all this? Regardless of life's challenges, relational or otherwise, the Lord is faithful and he's listening. He's waiting for you and I to cry out to him to reveal his power and righteousness in our circumstances. James 1.12 says this, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptations. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. So let me encourage you, patiently endure whatever challenges you face today, but never neglect to cry out to our Lord and experience his faithfulness to save.